Okay, and now we're going to multiply polynomials by monomials. When we are multiplying polynomials by monomials, or multiplying any two things that have exponents in them, those exponent laws are good to remember for exponent laws if we have the same base, so the base is x, and we have it to the power of a or b, and we multiply those two together, that's the same as adding the two exponents and keeping that same base. You'll probably also have to use the distributive property sometimes. Probably sometimes you'll have to use this product law. But let's just do some examples and see how they work. So here we have 2b times 3b squared. That's the same as if we wanted to write it out 2 times 3 times b. So 2 times 3 times b times 2 more b's b times b. So there's b squared, that's these guys. There's b, that's this one, the 3 and the 2. Oops. So that's obviously 2 times 3 is 6, and b times b times b is b cubed. Or we could write this out as, oops, um, without doing the expansion step, just writing it out, okay, 2 times 3 is 6, b times b squared is b cubed. You don't have to write out the expansion part. But if you are struggling with it, that's a good thing to do. Here we have 2b times, put in brackets here, this, oops, and this, and this. There's a trinomial in here. There's one, two, three terms, first term, second term, third term. So 2b times 3a squared. 2 times 3 is 6, a squared and b have nothing to add to, there's no a's over here, there's no b's over here. 2b times 2a, 2 times 2 is 4, a times b is just a times b, we don't know what they are yet. And 2b times negative 3, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and there's a b there with no bodies. So this is our product. Negative 3b times 3b minus 2. Negative 3b times 3b. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. b times b is b squared. Negative 3b times negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. And there's a b there with no friends. Next, 3xy squared times 2xyz squared. 3 times 2 is 6, x and x, there's two of them, y, there's 2 and another 1, so 1, there's just 1, so there's y to the 2 plus 1, or y cubed, and there's two z's over there. So this is all from these past examples. Really nice, right? You can just pick out the parts if you're multiplying them, and only multiplying. You can just pick out, okay, 3 and 2, I know how to do that, or x times x, I know how to do that. Or y, y squared times y, I know how to do that. And just don't forget, if it doesn't have a th anything to multiply by, the z squared doesn't just disappear, it still shows up in the end. Sometimes you'll have a problem like this, find the area of the shaded region. So this asks us to find the area of the big shape minus the area of the small shape. We we're cutting this one out of the bigger one. So th these are both rectangles. So in our first one, our first one, the area of the big rectangle, we'll say, is length times width. The length is 2x plus 6, which is right here. And the width, right there, is 2x. We'll look at the little one later. Now we have 2x plus 6 times 2x. This is our monomial. And this is our binomial. So 2x times 2x, 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared. 2x times 6, 2 times 6 is 12, and there's the x tagging along. This is the area of our big shape. Now let's take a look at the area of our small shape, which is also length times width. You can call it length 2 and width 2 if you like. The length here is x plus 4, and the width is x. So again, we'll distribute the monomial by the binomial. x times x is x squared. 
x times 4 is 4x. So this is the area of the small shape. And if we want area of the big one minus area of the small one, now we have it. We've got, let's go over here maybe, 4x squared plus 12x. This is the area of the big shape. And the area of the small shape is x squared plus 4x. And if we want to subtract them, we can just do like we did a little bit ago. And remember about distributing that negative sign throughout. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4x squared plus 12x. No changes there. Minus x squared minus 4x. I'm going to find my x squared terms, these guys. So 4 and negative 1 is 3. It's 3 x squareds. Find my x terms. There's 12 and negative 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. So this, why did I write cubed? This 3 x squared plus 8 x is our shaded area. So we found the area of the big shape, area of the small shape, subtracted them. That made us use our uh, polynomial multiplication skills and our polynomial subtraction skills, well addition subtraction skills. Okay, I hope some of these videos helped. I plan to make more later. Who knows?